Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this pinwheel out of paper, and this is what I'm using. I'm different. I'm using different kind of papers. These wooden beads that I found at the store. I'm also gonna be using pins, and I'm gonna be using this to puncture my paper. The hot glue gun, scissors. So I'm gonna start with the pins. I'm gonna get the scissors if you have a. A tool for this you can use it I'm just gonna use my scissors because that's what I have in hand and I'm just gonna fold my pin and like on the lowest part that you can because that's what's gonna hold the pin wheel as you can tell this is what it looks like the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my pattern my pattern I got it just by holding by folding the paper and just coming out with the square and I'm just marking this so I can make the cuts for the pinwheel and also to just get the square that I need. It's just like a simple square and you're going to cut the corners in diagonal to form the pinwheel. So I'm, I'm just going to put the, the uh, measurements on my blog. So if you want to check it out, if you want to make it the same. But it's just a regular paper and I just got a square out of it. So I'm going to cut the diagonal, as you can tell, I have a mark in there that I made with the puncher, with the the tool to puncture the thing. And I'm just going to get my hot glue now, but I'm going to fold, I'm just going to mark where the middle is. I don't want a hard line, I just want to make sure that I, I'm doing everything in the middle, as you can tell, I can see it now. So I'm just going to bring one of the corners to the center. And I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to jump on the other one and I'm going to bring it to the center as well. And this is what is going to give the shape that I need for the pinwheel. And it's going to make it spin when it's really windy. And it's going to look really cute as well. So I'm just going to finish up all the corners. Make sure that they are folding this way. I'm going to make a hole right in the center and this is where I'm going to put my pin and i'm just going to place the pin on the bead but first i have to put it through the uh, pinwheel now i'm going to put it on the bead i'm going to add a little dot of glue just be careful to not get burned and i'm going to take one of the kebab sticks that i'm going to be using i'm going to stick it in there and this is going to help the pinwheel spin because it's not actually glued, it will have movement if you put it somewhere. So this is what it looks like. You can decorate the center if you want. You can add a little piece of paper, circular paper as well. And uh, it will totally be mobile. Another thing that you can do is use two different kinds of paper to make a papal more. Or if your theme is like that, you just glue the two pieces of paper this way and you do the whole thing the same way you did I did the other one you know just as soon as you have everything glued you just use it as a single piece of paper I already have it right here and I'm just going to fold my centers my corners in the center there are times that the that the paper kind of comes apart in the corners but you just add a little bit of glue and it will totally fix it so this is a tutorial for the pinwheel you can play with different colors you can add you can just make your creations you can add different different papers you can add different squares you can make up your whole thing the only thing is the more paper you add the heavier it will be so it might be harder for it to spin but if you're just using it as a decoration and you don't want it to be mobile, that you can just glue whatever you want in here. So this is what it looks like. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It, w it is pretty simple and you can make a bunch of them for your party. I'm going to show you real quick how it moves and how it is actually functional, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing for the kids that they're going to like. And you can just give it to them and they can just run around. Just make sure that the uh, kebab stick is kind of not so sharp. The, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out this other video I have right here. I will talk to you next time. Bye.